Hey people, it is Sunday, May the 21st. The time is 8.08 .08 in the evening. It's currently 22 degrees Celsius. And I just crossed Sherborne Street along Gerard Street East. And I'm gonna be making my way eventually to the Fresh Co store in St. Jamestown, which is a grocery store that I frequent. So I thought I would do a Sunday before, before Victoria Day evening walk from basically right near where I live. I live just in the Girard and Sherborne area here. And I'll make my way up to the Fresh Co. I'll pick up a few things and then I will make my way back home again. So it's basically a trip to the grocery store and back. But not a direct route. I thought I'd take a bit of a more scenic route to make it worthy of a video. And I'm even going to take this laneway here. I think this is called Central Hospital Lane. And this will take us up to Carlton Street. And today was a very warm Sunday. It was up around 25, 26 degrees Celsius. It's cooled off a few degrees since then. But I'm still very comfortable in my t-shirt. Even a bit too warm, to be honest, once I get going. And lots of noisy birds around here. Got fighting pigeons up there. Merged onto Carlton Street. And this car just decided to make a very sudden left turn here. Or is it a U turn? Nope, they're going to go up Bleecker Street, and so am I. And I realized that my camera is not fully charged. For some reason I didn't think to charge it before heading out. In my mind it was already charged. For some odd reason. I did do a video with Megan yesterday. So I suppose after that I just didn't think to plug the camera back in to charge it again. Before starting this video. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to do the complete walk as I intended. We'll see how far I get. 
This might turn out to be a shorter than usual walk. Maybe I can at least make it to the grocery store to make it at least a walk to the grocery store video instead of a walk to the grocery store and back video. I could have walked straight up Sherborne Street as well. That would be the most direct way to get to the grocery store from my place. But I thought I'd walk up Bleecker instead. Chatty birds all along here. If this video does end up being a little too short for my liking, I might just post it as a sort of bonus video on the same day where I post one of my proper videos at a more regular length. And the reason why I'm going to the grocery store now is because tomorrow being a statutory holiday, I don't think Freshco will be open. There are two locations near where I live, one at Parliament and Dundas, and then this one up at St. Jamestown on Sherborne. This one's actually a bit further than the other one, but both of them, as far as I know, will probably be closed tomorrow. So I thought if I want to get some snacks and some pizza and whatever else, I better do it now. Here's Wellesley Street. So we're coming into the St. Jamestown neighborhood. With all these towering 1960s era apartment blocks. Maybe I'll just make it to the grocery store before the battery dies.
I think the scaffolding is part of a re rejuvenation of one of the old towers. A lot of these old buildings are in disrepair now. Yeah, it looks like they're completely rebuilding all the balconies on this one. All the balcony railings have been ripped off. Maybe they're going to spruce it up a bit with some new balconies. And then probably jack up the rents. Some of the rents were pretty reasonable in these old buildings. Not all that long ago. Some buildings are better than others. Some are quite unpleasant to live in based on things I've heard. Just a level above slum conditions. <laughs> Lots of bed bugs and other pests. Well, some other buildings in the same area are much more well kept. I guess you have to do your research if you plan to move into the area to make sure you get into one of the good buildings. It's a mix of market rentals and public housing. Two buildings can look identical and one can be a market rental property and the other one can be a public housing building. Look identical from the outside, that is. On the inside might be a different story. And here's the Freshco. So we're back at Sherborne Street again. So if I were to take the most direct route from my building to this Freshco, it would be about a 10 minute walk if I walk at a good pace. Whereas the other Freshco at Parliament and Dundas is a bit closer, more like a seven minute walk maybe. This is one of the newer buildings in St. James Town. This one's just built in the last five years or so. It's a rental tower. But let's go inside. So I can't do a proper walk to the store and back. At least I will take us into the store and show you around a bit while I make my way to the pizzas and the snacks. And I expected this to be extremely busy since tomorrow is that stat holiday as I mentioned. People are bound to make sure they have all the food they need. On the day before a holiday, grocery stores are often overwhelmed to the point of ridiculousness a bit. <laughs> As if the end of the world is coming. So here are the pizzas. Anything good on sale? $4.99 for Delicio. That's actually a good deal. Is that just for the Hawaiian though? I think it might be just the Hawaiian for some reason. I'm not a fan of that. I prefer the veggie here. And I can see that the Dr. Ocker are also on for $4.99. I might come and grab one of those. I'm just going to swing around here to the snack aisle. Mm -hmm. 
Lots of stuff seems to be on sale here. This is already a discount grocery store to begin with. So even regular prices tend to be a bit lower than at Metro and Loblaws and the like. So two for five fifty for a bag of Lay's. Party mix is two for seven. It's not so bad. I am a fan of party mix. And do they have root beer in stock? I have some at home, so I don't necessarily need some right now. Just out of curiosity. Oftentimes when I have come here before, the root beer was never in stock. Oh, and it is now. And it's on for 99 cents. Back to its regular price before the recent price hike. Maybe I'll grab one just for old time's sake. And I think I also might need some fresh, not Freshco, <laughs> we're in Freshco. I think I also might need some Vector cereal. So I'm going to head over to the cereal aisle as well. Well, I decide between Lay's or Party Mix. And I can see my battery is about to run out. So I just grab two bags of party mix. And I'll make my way back over to the pizza aisle. And I'm going to start to wrap up this video here. So I hope you enjoyed the walk from right near where I live, basically just uh, around the corner from my building as we made our way up here to the Fresh Co. at St. Jamestown. It's a bit shorter of a walk than I usually do, but the battery is in charge right now. <laughs> I have no choice in the matter, so leave a comment down below if you enjoyed, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also make sure you hit that notification bell, that way you won't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And there's also a super thanks button right down below if you'd like to support the channel that way. And you can also find me on Instagram under KContinuum. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue. I will continue to eat pizza and party mix. And I don't have a bag or a basket. Because <laughs> I'm a dingus. <laughs> Alright, to the cereal aisle. Maybe we can get this up to at least 20 minutes. It's a somewhat respectable length for a video. Where is the cereal? 
Well, I'll see you next time. Thank you.